So this is uh, Amulet three. 3. Yeah, this is some of the stuff from Amulet 3. Kind of less refined process uh, than Amulet 4, but it's pretty close to what I had going. I actually used to draw the pages freehand. Um, and these get scanned in and I actually uh, ink these. These are the pencils. That looks like crazy, crazy man, crazy scratch there. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, I actually tried to vary it up and went with bigger pages, and I found that that was actually not helpful. So and this is the same process that you're you're doing. Yeah, Amulet Four has much. got a more uh, refined process. Actually, as the this book moves forward, you'll see that I actually am using the process that. Uh, oh, oh, this is uh, an older process. This was not efficient, not as efficient as what we've got now. But this is pretty much what uh, what we have going right now. I actually have templates now. I print out the templates and then write and draw at this size. I uh, cop like I'll I'll tape I'll tape pages onto onto the sheets, you know, over other pages that weren't working. Let's see. So. Cool. This is pretty much the, the entire book. In the back, uh, I have a lot of the, the dialogue and stuff, uh, early concept sketches. sketches for, I don't, I don't do that much in the way of concept art. I actually just, I do maybe about five sketches of a character or something, and then I, uh, I kind of decide, oh, that's good enough, and I lock it down, and then I go in and, and draw the character in the scenes and then I go back and fix them <laughs> after I um, I usually I can usually figure out who they are um, after drawing them a few times in, in the story but the story is what informs who they are um, and so then I can uh, refine I'll refine their design later on so I guess in my books there's this there's this um, you know, process of, uh, like at every stage of development or every stage of production, there's some, some new thing that's being layered on top of it, you know, like I'm, we're creating new stuff at all, at pretty much every stage of the game. And I think that's one way to keep uh, everything feeling fresh. But yeah, here's uh, I see a lot of little sketch. word balloons there that you've uh, yeah, had yeah, some... Yeah, some dialogue with the character, you know. Like I'll, sometimes I don't know what the characters say until I see them. Or I see the scene. If I can see the scene, then I can write the dialogue. So a lot of times I'll just put two characters and I'll draw two characters together, and then they just start talking. <laughs> and I just see it happening. So then I just like here, you know, here's a picture of Emily and then a picture of Trellis, and then they just start talking. I mean, they're talk. There's some. There's things that I I want to do as a storyteller that I want to I want to express through the subtext, but their dialogue has to feel like it comes from them first, you know, and so they dictate the story. And so most of the time the subtext is determined by what they decide to tell me. <laughs> uh, and I try to guide them down the path that I want them to go, but if I force them, force the characters too much, they just don't feel natural anymore, and, and, and you really lose the magic. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't work anymore. It's like being able to see the magician's hand in a trick. You just don't want to see how the... Uh, the smoke and mirrors work. <coughs> but uh, yeah, so here's like sequences that I, I thought would be in the book. Like I'll just this is this is probably like the most one of the most fun parts of the process where I could just sit there and draw straw a bunch of images that feel like the story you know is happening, and I just have some of the dialogue in there, and then when I go back to do the sequence, um, a lot of these images will show up. I mean this is. Uh, this eventually becomes um, this particular sequence. There's like little elements from there where you can see him piloting the ship and things like that. So we're going to see a special edition uh, amulet with uh, uh, the making of like this in the near future. Uh, I don't know. Maybe um, if 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 we do do it, it'll probably be in the app. It'll probably only be available digitally because it just costs too much to print this stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I want uh, every page um, dedicated to the story. Uh, my books are actually supposed to only be 144 pages, and they're 
averaging over 200 right now. Wow. So, you know, thankfully Scholastic has been open-minded enough to allow me to do that, and hopefully they can print enough to make their make their P&Ls. But, you know, cool. Concept sketch, really. Okay. Even try to give Charles a haircut, that's pretty silly right there. I don't think that's <laughs> going to happen. So, yeah, so. Awesome. See, like a lot, the, the sketches actually tell the story, you know, like you see that image and then you can almost imagine what's happening and so that it really helps the writing. That's why I write and I draw at the same time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Awesome.